I think change overall is really hard for people to do. I think that young leaders are, are needed to create that awareness that sometimes change can be easy and really simple. My name is Martin Figueroa, and I started the water battle here at the University of California, Merced. The University of California, Merced is the newest university of the UC system located in the Central Valley of California. The Central Valley is where a lot of food is cultivated. There's a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, and the area is so dry that the Central Valley uses much of its water for farming. So water is a critical resource. I've been working in sustainability projects since the start of my education here at UC Merced. In my junior year, I got the idea of creating a water competition. I wanted to educate people about how easy it is to conserve water and uh, make a change. The water battle was a 30-day water competition where we challenged students to conserve water in their dorms by reducing their shower time, turning off the faucet, and limiting the flushes when using the toilet. I assembled this coalition of student groups staff, stakeholders of the university. Through the use of Facebook and our website, we attracted students to get involved. We had several tabling events and uh, have a right blender, which students really love here on campus. Grab a free smoothie while learning ways that they can conserve water in their dorms. So we're doing a water competition, which is going on right now uh, for 30 days. We actually have this cool uh, technology. It's a real-time uh, water monitoring system. I was looking for a way to integrate technology and then we approached this company, the AquaQ company, where they developed this monitoring system. So we attached the system into the meter that would send the information wirelessly into a cloud server and allowed for us to collect data real time. But we take it a step further and we developed this dashboard where students can log in at any time, anywhere, through your cell phone, iPhone, computer, and understand their impact. We thought with the use of this cool technology, students would be more willing to log in and see real time their water usage in the dorms. Another thing that we were able to do was identify leaks. When we received the alert on our dashboard, we assembled this group of students and we went out to these dorms. So we go through the toilet, the faucet, and the shower to try to find a leak. Martin is an effective leader in this competition because one, he has a very engaging, inviting personality. He's very approachable. He's very passionate about sustainability and he's involved. During the competition, we involved 565 students in these residence halls, and we outreached to more than 2,500 students. That resulted in a 14% reduction rate, saving about 89,000 gallons of water. We were able to identify 15 leaks, and we saved about 1.4 million gallons of water. The goal of this competition was not just to get water savings or conserve water. It was to educate students about the importance of conserving water and water itself. The way that we live today and the way that we consume things has a profound impact on the future of our planet. My hope is that this small campus and this small project can serve as an example for people to take a role in water conservation and using this critical resource wisely.